What's up everybody, it's Mikhail Casanova coming at you with another video. We're gonna be talking about a lot of things Steam Deck oriented, uh, upcoming podcasts that will be launching this week for the Steam Deck that I will be hosting. And uh, yeah, this is a lot of gaming news today. I mean, we had the Nintendo Direct earlier and we got the PlayStation State of Play coming later on today. But uh, before we dive into anything, if you enjoy the content I put out, especially Steam Deck oriented content, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and the notification bell. That really goes a long way as to helping this channel out, especially with the you know YouTube algorithm and everything like that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the topics for this video starting off with JSOC because there's two things that they made announcements about and um, yeah I think we should talk about it. so let's go ahead and get into it all right so first thing that happened today with JSOC they announced at uh, 545 my time uh, Hawaii Standard Time that uh, in order to ensure more customers shopping experience and reduce the waiting time for shipment so that we can prepare more units in stock in the meantime we decided to postpone the date of the m.2 dock the hbo 604 opening for sale again to september 27th so we'll go ahead we'll just go over to the blog uh i find this interesting i do find this interesting because um you know, and this is not to throw shade at uh, JSAW, but I, I feel like they're constantly making docs. <laughs> like every time you turn around, they're making docs. So this is sold out within minutes. Uh, I think they announced it sold out within the first two to 10 minutes. And um, so they're gonna do a second pre-order campaign on September 27th. Now, not to be the pessimist or anything like that, but I do feel like this is going to lead up to um, potentially <laughs> Um, when people order this within a week or so, there's probably going to be another one that's going to have more USB slots. Um, I don't know. Like I, I just, at this point, I'm losing track of how many <laughs> docs. So this is like the, the fourth, the uh, third or fourth doc within like three months. And that's not a negative thing, but it's just interesting. Uh, so it says, uh, last week we witnessed one of the most exciting moments in the history of JSAW. Our new docking station with an M.2 SSD slot ran out of stock and our website just two minutes after the pre-order campaign started. I'm wondering how many of those were bots. So after uh, such impressive success, we announced a new sale that will take place this Wednesday. And that's what we want to discuss today. The second batch of M.2 SSD docks will be available uh, finally be available in two weeks. It means a new opening sale will start on September 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It says why we opted for a 14 day delay. Uh, HBO 604 was conceived as a high quality product designed for a more specialized customer. So it requires a more complex manufacturing process in addition to its anodized surface. This docking station's metal case is created through a new CNC process, which gives it a refined look, but this takes a very long time compared to manufacturing our previous dock models. So it increased the production time of HBO 604 exponentially. Of course, we've been working on commercial agreements with several factories that can help us reduce production times. Also, we decided to delay the start of the new pre-order campaign uh, and sacrifice a part of our short-term benefits to reduce lead times between production and product delivery. And this way, we'll be able to ship your M.2 SSD docking station within three to five days before you place your order. Please note that in order to protect the interests of our first customers, the early bird price we announced for the first batch was a time-limited offer. We'll keep the same freebies for this new pre-order campaign, which consists of a set of our newly designed skins, button caps, and portable stand. You can get the HBO 604 in different sets for 109, 179, 249. So like the 109 is the, the, the dock itself, 179 is with the one terabyte uh, SS, uh, M.2 SSD, and then the 249 is the two terabyte. Now, uh, it says, uh, we can't wait for the day to come. Thanks for helping us 
uh, keep growing every day, the JSAW team. So, um, my thoughts on this, um, unless there's something I've missed, I feel like the only way you can utilize that M.2 uh, SSD is going to be, I believe, through uh, desktop mode, because it's going to view it as like a, a USB drive, correct? Now, if I'm incorrect, please correct me, but I, that's how I feel like it, the, the way it would end up working. Because within game mode, I don't believe they've updated it to allow for anything like that beyond like, you know, the internal drive and the uh, SSD, or uh, not the SSD, uh, but the uh, micro SD card that you can put up to one terabyte. So uh, unless you plan to play like in game, like I can see a lot of benefits for this. I'll be honest, like I could see you using this in like, uh, if you're like in, in desktop mode, if you just want to have like all your ROMs and everything like that, I could see like you just have a whole catalog and, and library of games. I could see that being really cool. I don't know. Um, I don't feel like this is something I need. Like if I do get the opportunity to review it, um, I'll review it. But is it something I need? No. Mainly because this right here, the second iteration of the dock that they came up with, the upgraded dock, this right here was everything that I needed. Uh, speaking of this, this is going to lead into the, the second, second topic uh, for JSAW. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. Now, uh, Steam Deck HQ, if you haven't followed them on Twitter, make sure you do. They put out a lot of great content, plus their website is really great too. If you need to keep up to date, uh, with Steam Deck coverage, uh, they put out a tweet uh, earlier today. It says, last week, uh, JSAW official announced an update coming to their Steam Deck docs. Today, we have a little more information on what the update entails, a release date, and a way you could help test this be update before it releases. So if we go to their page, so uh, the JSAW doc update details and release date improve LG compatibility. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I mentioned in my uh, my review of the first doc that uh, when I was trying to use the doc with the LG monitor, I had an LG 4K monitor, it would not work. It just would not, like, it wouldn't do uh, 4K 60, it also wouldn't do 1080 60, because it kept flickering. So there's a firmware update that they're going to be doing for the doc to be able to fix that. Uh, I'm also having the same issue right now with my... Um, my Odyssey G7 4K uh, 144 hertz monitor as well. It just does not want to work with uh, this dock. So I have to run it through a capture card to get it to work. Or I have to run it through the uh, M. Dot with an M Classic uh, adapter to get it to work with a monitor. So hopefully with this update, I don't have to uh, deal with this again. But anyways, uh, this article is written by Barbecue Kitty and I'll link the article in the description uh, just so I can make sure the credit definitely goes to Steam Deck H HQ. But um, it says last week, JSAW announced that a new update was coming to their HBO 602 and HBO 603. Uh, and they also have a link to their review. Steam Deck Doc. And today we have a little bit more information on what exactly this update entails. JSAW confirmed to me that this update focuses on improved compatibility with LG monitors and TVs, and that's really it. They did let me know that any kind of updates coming to docs will generally be focused on specific problems and helping improve compatibility, regardless of how small it is, though. Any continued work on improving compatibility with and, and how these docs work is much appreciated. This update will only be for those two models listed above, not their newest dock with the M.2 slot integrated into it, the HBO 604. Luckily, it was also confirmed that it will be shipping with this compatibility fix, so no firmware update would be needed for that one. JSAW plans to release this update this Friday or next Monday. It's currently looking for individuals who may want to help test this update. If you own a regular HBO 602 or upgrade docking station or HBO 603 and LG monitor or TV, uh, they want to help test the update, then you know you can send an email to support at jsaw.com. We love this doc here, so it's always amazing seeing more uh, support on the way. We also confirmed that to be getting one of their 
Well, hey, hell, at least somebody's confirmed to be kidding. <laughs> like, uh, yo, JSON was really beating around the bush with the M.2 doc for me. Like when I asked them, they're like, yeah, we don't know if you're going to get it. But, uh, hey, at least somebody can say they confirmed to get it. Uh, I, <sighs> JSON, I, I love their products, but like, the customer service sometimes can be really, especially dealing with them in an, as a content creator. Um, cause I've done so many reviews for their products and it's like, it, it feels like I have to beg them or I have to keep asking them for something. And I feel like if I work with PlayStation, like, I don't know if you guys know this and this is not me bragging, but I'm a PlayStation partner. I work with PlayStation. I've got my PlayStation fives are review units. I've gotten every PlayStation 5 release game so far uh, for review. I'm also an Xbox partner, so or Xbox brand ambassador. I work with Xbox. I review their products. I'm also I work with Nintendo. I work with all these different companies, uh, especially hardware companies. Like I'm partnered with Astro. I'm partnered with um, Neat Microphones. Now I'm partnered with Rode, you know, like I'm working with a lot of these companies and I don't have to quote unquote beg, but like companies like JSAW just, I don't know. I don't understand it. It's, it's weird. Uh, but anyway, that's my little rant. I just wanted to go on a little rant and, and just so you guys know, when we do the podcast, uh, there's definitely going to be like a lot of ranting. <laughs> I'm going to have some sections where I speak on it, but I don't like how, um, I guess you could say I'm being treated by JSOF when it comes to, uh, reviewing their products. You know, if it's going to be that much of a hassle, I'm just not going to bother if that, uh, that makes sense. So anyways, hopefully, um, this update also can address the issues with the Samsung Odyssey G7 monitors. If not, then um, I guess I'll just reach out to them and be like, hey, you know, that monitor also has issues as well. So outside of that, uh, I want to switch over to talking about the Steam uh, Humble Bundle. So let's go ahead and uh, check that out real quick. So if you head on over to humblebundle.com, this is the big bundle right now. It's a mega size bundle of 2K mega hits. So uh, Blast Alien, um, Build Dynasties get $660 plus worth of critical hits and favorites for only $16. So with this, you'll be getting uh, Hunt for Loot and Borderlands 3. So you get the Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe. You get uh, Earth and XCOM Ultimate Collection. Uh, Bioshock Collection, and you also get Civilization 6, PGA Tour, uh, 2K21, Mafia, and more. Here's the thing. If you had, um, if you do like me, like I do the monthly uh, bundle, all these games came within the last several months. So, uh, you know, if you, if you missed out on that for 16 bucks, if you got a Steam Deck, you cannot go wrong with this bundle uh, at all. Like you just look at what you're getting, right? So I, I don't know why I defaulted 25, but $16. So if you had $16, you get 18 items. This one's eh, this game's kind of crappy. Eh, let's do Nukem. You can't really complain, but you know, the heavy hitters out of this is the Bioshock collection, Mafia Definitive Edition. XCOM, Borderlands 3, and 2K21. Also Civilization 6, if you're into Civilization. Um, I know some people will probably be into the Railroad, Tycoon, and Platinum game. Um, but yeah, you, you're getting, you know, th there's a lot right there that you're getting. I think, what, if you go to 35, do they add more to it? Hmm. Eh, but you know, nothing wrong with that at all. So a couple other things too, that's on the humble bundle. Uh, you can get dungeons. So if you want to pick up the dungeon games, the complete trilogy, if you're into like Diablo style hack and slash games, 
this is actually a pretty nice bundle to pick up you'll get a lot of uh a lot of good times out of this right here so is it uh twelve dollars i don't know why defaults at 25 but if you go 12 bucks you get dungeons 3 dungeons 2 dungeons and you get uh, all the dlc as well that's actually not a bad uh bundle at all and then it's a couple of the bundles too so like uh sound effects and music bundle um music producer bundle if you want to do programming there's a programmer's bundle a lot of different bundles that are available and then here a lot of the games are on sale right now so featured like cyberpunk 2077 both here on humble bundle and on steam if you go over to the steam page it's uh 29.99 so it's on sale uh they did fix the steam deck setting that is on um if you were to load into it before like it had issues where it just didn't run well at all but now it's been fixed so uh it runs pretty good 30 frames per second uh, i think if you tinker you can get like 40 uh but i've been mainly running it at about 30 frames per second at, at the default steam deck settings and it's been pretty good i get about uh hour and a half out of it off of a full charge so it's pretty pretty good uh, a couple other games on sale you got tim tim which is on sale uh 20 percent off at 35.99 Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle, which oddly enough, the physical copy of this game is actually very rare. I don't know why. Um, but it's uh, 2639, still rising, it is uh, on sale right now for 47.99. This just came out, and my buddy ACG uh, did a review on it. He said it was a really good game, so definitely check that out. Um, ones I'm familiar with, The Outer Worlds and Neo and The Witcher, all on sale. Neo 2 is a phenomenal game, 23.99 for that. Uh, for the complete edition and then if you want to get out of worlds 33 dollars 10 cents not bad witcher 3 uh game of the year edition 10 bucks you can't go wrong with that you cannot go wrong with witcher 3. dead by daylight i know a lot of people play that i don't have any interest in it but uh if you're interested in that that's on sale it's about 10 bucks or 9.59 uh, TNG Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Cow Binding Collection. I actually got a review copy of this from Konami. And um, I'm going to be featuring it in a video of like games I'm playing currently. Um, but yeah, this is definitely good. Especially because I grew up with all these games. Like I had them on Game Boy. I had them on the NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. I played them in the arcade back in the day. I used to go to, uh, you know, like the arcades and uh, Chuck E. Cheese's to play uh, the two Ninja Turtle games. And I... I want to get the arcade cabinet, the arcade one-up cabinet. Uh, I just can't because I don't have room here at the condo for it. Because I'm, you know, I've got the Marvel Capcom 2 cabinet coming, and I've also currently got the Marvel Capcom 1 cabinet as it is. So, if I'm going to get any other cabinets, it's probably going to be the uh, Neo Geo cabinet. That's probably going to be the one. But uh, yeah, so you also got Cult of the Land, which I heard is really, really great. I haven't personally played it but uh, it's on sale for about 20 bucks and then football manager. So there's a lot of games uh, that are on sale. And I think if you've got a steam deck, there's nothing wrong at all with like having the, uh, you know, sign up. It's about 10, 12 bucks a month, humble bundle. And then some of the games you can get for this month uh, right now. So Crusader Kings three, if you've got like the monthly thing, just cost four. Uh, Dungeons of, uh, however you say that, Forgive Me Father Shapes, Industria, Descenders, Crown Trick, and um, Moonscars. Apparently, you can play that in a launch day. And in uh, previous month, you uh, were able to get the Ascent, Hot Wheels Unleashed, Plague Tail, a gas station, a couple more. And then, uh, what was it? Mind Scanners, Ono, uh, Omno, In Sound, and Emily's Away. And you're also able to get a uh, month prior to Deep Rock, Hard Gun, Legion, TD2, and Legend of the Keepers. So yeah, there's that. And uh, outside of that, we're going to talk about another topic. This is probably going to be uh, the final Steam Deck topic before I dive into uh, talking about the podcast. So this is kind of like, uh, I guess if you guys are curious, this is kind of going to be what the format is going to be for the Steam Deck podcast. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the last one, which is uh, 
Debrat. <laughs> how controversial they are right now. Okay, so in talking about the Project Kill Switch from Debrad, um, <laughs> I'm I'm still gonna get it. I know a lot of people have been um, not happy with Debrad because actually, you know what's interesting is you can get a case for the Steam Deck, and I I, I want to it up here so like if we look at the case for project kill switch you look at the back of that you look at the design of it and then you look at the case right here from uh Benazza cap or Benaz cap it's so similar so i mean there's some differences if you look at the front like it does cover like the edges a little bit more than this does. So it it's, I don't know, like that's, <sighs> so $21 as opposed to, how much is this again? This is like 50 and it's gonna be like 70 with everything because if they're, they're making a case too. That you can carry everything in it. Um, so I'm getting it for the sake of reviewing it. And I like the idea of the magnetic case, but like, yeah, they, they've pretty, done some pretty poor marketing on this. And it's interesting how the Steam Deck has been out for as long as it has, right? It's been out for, at this point, six months, seven months? And this hasn't even come out yet. This is not coming out until the end of this month. But you can easily buy this now. Like this, the JSAW case. Like, these have been available. There are other cases that are available, and they're more affordable. You know, and even if you, okay, so like, let's do some math and we add in, you know, the case and everything that this comes with, right? If you were to buy this stickers, uh, or not stickers, but like thumb caps and such, plus a case, and you can always apply like a 10% off coupon because Amazon does it a lot. Uh, you're gonna be paying a lot less than what you would for the, the, the Project Kill Switch. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know how, and then this is why I want to, re I want to get one to review it because I have a lot of questions about it. Like this is something that I think we, we kind of like, I need to see it hands on. Like I need to utilize it to see what the value actually is because as it is, the frugal part of me, the frugal part of me doesn't see what the value in this is at all. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but the the gearhead in me and the one the, the the reviewer aspect of myself, the journalist aspect, wants to get it to review it. And I'm not getting a review yet. It. I don't I've never worked with D brand. But uh yeah, I'm gonna I, I definitely wanna see what this is like. But uh that's it for um this topic i think the only other thing now is to talk about the podcast so uh the podcast that i'm going to be starting i'm going to pop it up here you'll see it here it's called decked up a steam deck podcast and uh this is going to be a weekly podcast i'm going to try and do uh i want i want to do this as a live stream podcast and i i think i need to put a poll out here on youtube 
um, within my community section to see like what would be like a general good time. It, it the thing for me, um, as you guys may know, I do have my daughter with me. My daughter is a toddler, and so trying to do a lot of things earlier in the day and i know earlier is usually more convenient for other people to check out it might be a little bit difficult for me overall but i'm um, thinking probably trying to do like an hour you know 45 minutes to an hour live stream podcast um here or if i can't i don't even know if with the internet here from because i got spectrum and spectrum has such a, a crappy like upload speed so i don't know if i could do like a uh, simultaneous like stream on hearing and twitch but if anything guarantee it's going to be on youtube and then i'll um record it also edit it upload it to all podcasting outlets. so you'll be able to catch this on everything itunes or uh, it's apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, stitcher spotify um, it'll be available everywhere in audio format and it'll be a weekly podcast. So, um, yeah, it's going to be like, if you guys have any questions, like, if there's anything you guys want me to cover, um, I'll definitely be doing that. Like I know, um, one of the things I was asked by, um, let's see, I'm trying to pull it up. I was actually asked this by, um, uh perfidious triple three about a day ago uh they the, some of the things that they want me to cover is it like future games i want to see verify hopes for steam decks future iterations thoughts on emu deck versus manual setup of emulators personal favorite settings for specific games you know to maximize battery life favorite free-to-play deck titles um some deck maybe some deck channels that i like to watch can make as a shout for other smaller channels as well as a networking opportunity and uh, favorite things to use Steam Deck for outside of gaming. And then Randall Smallfoot also uh, said that they, they like to see me talk about things I didn't know the deck could do. So um, that's some of the things I'm looking at covering, uh, specifically in this first episode. Uh, try and cover, I'm, I'm gonna try and cover as much of that as I possibly can. I wanna do the live stream format because I, I would like to interact with you guys. Um, but if anything, you know, kind of is what it is, all right? If I can do it, I can. If, if I'm not able to, and live streaming is basically going to be based around how my top is. If she's okay with it, I'll do it. But I really definitely want to do it. I don't want to do it too late, but if I have to do it late, it'll be late. But you guys can always catch the replay uh, or catch the uh, audio format first. But yeah. That is the last thing I wanted to talk about. I know this has been a fairly long video, but I will have timestamps for everything. I just wanted to go ahead and um, talk about Decked Up because it's something that I'm very excited to work on and talk about. And hopefully I can get some other uh, Steam Deck oriented content creators on the podcast, you know, occasionally. Uh, I'd definitely love to have Nerd Nest on, um, Deck Ready. I'd love to have Steam Deck HQ on and, um, as, you know, a couple other, uh, you know, like fan the deck and all of them. I'd love to have them on the show too. But anyways, all that being said, what do you guys think of, uh, all the news I covered here? Are you excited? Are you, you know, how do you feel about, uh, the humble bundle? How do you feel about project kill switch? I'm kind of am about it. Um, and what do you think about JSAW and how they are, uh, how they're doing? <laughs> Whatever your thoughts are, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below in the video. And uh, if you want to support the content we do, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already. Ding the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the content I put out, specifically Steam Deck related. And uh, if you want to support further, we do have Patreon as well as channel memberships available as well as merch on teespring and tea public all that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one hope you have a blessed and long rest of your day and uh, i'll catch you around peace let them know that i'm next level i'm a whole new kind of guy
always at the top spot in case you forgot.